Five years ago to this day, April 13th, Kobe Bryant's last game as a Laker. That's the last picture taken of Bryant in uniform by the Lakers chief photographer. Five years later to the day, this mural of Kobe Bryant unveiled in South Pasadena about 10 miles from the arena Kobe called home about 10 miles from where I'm standing right here right now. And with that, let's introduce uh, Jonas Never, the muralist, and Andrew Bernstein, the photographer. And, and Andy, we'll start with you. you. You documented Kobe's life for for 20 plus years. What does this mural say to you? Uh, Neil, this is like the exclamation point at the end of a 20 year career, magical career by Kobe, uh, a magical night. You know, it's, guy drops 60 points, you know, drops the mic, Mamba out. And I had to get this picture. This was, uh, you know, if I didn't get this picture, I don't think my career would have been completed <laughs> with uh, 20 years of shooting him. Jonas, what does this work of yours, what do you hope it says to us? For me, it was just an absolute honor to be chosen to do it. Like Andy, I got amazing photos of Kobe throughout his whole career, painting Kobe a few times, but I've never actually gotten to work side by side with the photographer on a project. So. This is one of those like only in LA moments and I was just proud to be a part of it. Jonas, what, what, what makes this the ideal image for you as a muralist? It was an amazing shot. It was one that hasn't been painted and it was just like, you don't get to have that kind of opportunity to work alongside someone who actually knew the subject like Kobe, like Andy worked alongside him for you know, his entire career. And I've painted him a few times and this was a nice way for me as a muralist to have one final painting of Kobe that was of his final moment on the court as a Laker. Andy, you made the man audition. How could you? <laughs> well, you know, I have, a, I have a very generous building owner over here in South Pasadena, um, and he wanted to see three different styles of muralists, um, and he picked Jonas immediately. He, uh, he said, this is the guy. <laughs> the most realistic, um, you know, Jonas's body of work speaks for itself. Um, I mean, I would have picked Jonas if it was up to me, but it was really his choice. And uh, it was a no-brainer. I mean, the guy worked 16 days straight, like 12 hours a day on this mural. It was mind-blowing to me to see it just come to life in front of our eyes here. All right, Jonas, with that, give us, give us an idea of how you did this. So I took Andy's original photo, which was amazing in and of itself, photoshopped it to fit the size of the wall, like the dimensions, and then gridded out the wall into six inch squares. And just, I wanted to make sure I kept it as true to the original as possible, because there was no real room for artistic interpretation. I wanted to do the original justice and do Kobe justice. Well, I, I think you did that. All right, Andy, uh, you posted a Kobe Bryant quote to promote the mural, and I want to read it to you. If you're not obsessed with what you do, we don't speak the same language. What about that quote resonates with you in regards to this project? Well, in regards to Kobe, he and I bonded basically because we were both so obsessed over our crafts. And uh, I noticed that very early when I met him at 18 years old and as our relationship grew and he once looked over at me and said, man, you're just as crazy as I am with what you do. And I said, yeah, that's actually true. So, you know, to, to have this project sort of speak to that, I don't know if it's obsession, but love that I had for him and, uh, and how the murals throughout the world, you know, are speaking to everyone's grief, but everyone's love for Kobe and his legacy lives on through these murals. Jonas, uh, what do you hope Kobe would say if he saw this piece of work? I hope that I did him justice and that he was proud of the hours I put in. I mean, everyone talks about Mamba mentality and I can't play basketball at all, but uh, hopefully I can apply it to paint and then put in long days for that. <laughs> Andy, what do, you, what do you think Kobe would say? I think he would uh, he would nod and, and say, man, good job. I mean, Kobe really appreciated uh, anybody whose work just stood out. And Jonas's, of course, stands out more than anyone else's. And uh, I'm just proud that, that we could partner and collaborate on this. Uh, and what we say is, is good on both of you. And, and thanks for sharing your labor of love. Thank you so much. Thanks, Neil. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.